Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm here to talk with you today about some products to brighten your skin. And especially if you're on Retin-A as I am, sometimes Retin-A can be the best of times and the worst of times. Over the long haul it gives you great skin, but over the short term it can make your skin look kind of ruddy and dull and just not bright and clean and young. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That way you won't miss any of my future skincare and makeup videos. And if you could give me a thumbs up, that's always good too. Now, the first product has to do with my Clarisonic. And actually, this is my Clarisonic Mia, which is the smaller version of the Clarisonic. And it's kind of grubby. Don't look too close because I've had it for six or seven years. And for the longest time, I stopped using it. I was having good results just with some cleansing pads and that kind of thing. I was thinking of this more totally in terms of just cleansing your skin rather than as a tool for anti-aging. All that changed when I watched a YouTube video by Dr. David Lim. And if you have not seen his channel, you need to go there. He is a doctor from Australia and he does all of these beautiful skin resurfacing techniques with a full array of lasers and peels and that kind of thing. But he was talking about the best skincare product that he would buy for 2018 if he could. And he mentioned the Clarisonic. And he said it is not just for cleansing anymore, that it is wonderful at exfoliating your skin, which gives your skin the bright, even tone that we all want. So that prompted me to pull out my Clarisonic around the first of the year. And I've been using it once or twice a week just to exfoliate my skin. And it really helps with the Retin-A peelies. I don't use it every day because that is too harsh, especially if you're on Retin-A. But if you look at this in terms of a beauty tool, using it once or twice a week is a wonderful way to exfoliate your skin and unearth that beautiful glowing skin that's underneath that dull layer on top. Now the Clarisonic people were kind enough to send me some brush heads and I wanted to explain this to you because I think they're really wonderful. The first one is the foundation brush head and actually I won't show that to you because I've been using one that I purchased myself about a month and a half ago and I really really like this for applying foundation. I saw Angie of Hot and Flashy use this to apply her foundation and I won't go into the specifics about how to do that because I will be doing another video about how wonderfully that works and exactly how to do it. Applying your foundation with this brush head does not use near as much product and it also helps you apply your foundation in a smooth effortless way it takes about a minute to apply your foundation with this brush head and again I'll be doing that video down the road and it's a very interesting way to apply your foundation in addition to the foundation brush head which I had already purchased and I really love they sent me three other brush heads the first is the deep pour brush head and I have been using this about once a week for the past three weeks and here it is it doesn't look too grabby yet but I absolutely love this for the pore area around your nose and the T-zone area and the upper forehead. I don't really use it too much on the rest of my skin because I don't want to over exfoliate those areas without the large pores. But it says that it cleans out your pores and actually shrinks your pores. And my pores have been shrinking, I have to admit. I don't know really if it's this brush head, but I don't think it hurts to have those pores nice and clean. And the second brush head they sent me is the Radiance brush head. And this is just a wonderful little very soft bristle brush head that you use just to cleanse your face. And I've been using this about once a week. And I really like this. I think it gives you a little bit of exfoliation and it does clean your skin very well. And the last brush head they sent me is the Acne Cleansing Brush Head. I had acne my whole adult life. And I'm so happy to say though that menopause was a great gift to me in terms of my last pimple I think I've just had a few since then, but mostly I've gotten rid of the acne So I won't be needing this brush head, but if you have acne, I think this would be a wonderful one Now the next product is the pure biology advanced pure mask It's a little bentonite clay mask that draws the impurities right out of your pores I love masks with bentonite clay it also has a wonderful little very mild smell and it smells a little bit like cucumbers which is a very nice spa type smell. What drew me to buy this mask was the incredible number of five star reviews. Here's the picture of this product from Amazon and as you can see it had almost a thousand reviews and almost all of them were five star which was incredible and was a lot higher than any other mask I saw on Amazon. And you're supposed to use this mask once or twice a week and it supposedly brightens your skin over time. Let me show you a review from one girl who used the mask and these are her before and after pictures. She used the mask just once a week and there she is before and there she is six months after. And as you can tell, a lot of her brown discolorations are simply nulled out on her skin. She looks much, much better. And I have been using this now for the past three weeks, once a week, and I really do feel like it's an excellent little mask. I put it on my face for about 10 minutes, just a very nice thin coat. I let it dry. It takes 10 to 15 minutes to dry. 
When I take this mask off, my skin looks a little bit red because the blood is rushed to the surface. The bentonite clay is drawing things to the surface. But by the next morning, that redness is gone and my skin looks great. In the three weeks I've been using it, I feel like my pores look just a little smaller. My skin looks a little more refined. My skin just has an all over better look. Now, in terms of brightening your skin, the two best elements are vitamin C, and this is my Timeless Vitamin C Serum, which I do use, and niacinamide, and this is the Ordinary's niacinamide. And these are two great products that I think are keeping my skin nice and bright. Now, since we're talking about skincare, I was sent a few products that I wanted to do a brief review on for you. Although I was sent this product, I had also ordered it like a week before. So I have two of them now. So you can tell that I really did want this product. This product is interesting because it contains argiroline, which is a protein that is found in a lot of the injectables. And the company claims that after 30 days, there's a 27% reduction in wrinkles. And this is apparently especially good for the deeper wrinkles like around your eyes and on your forehead, kind of the area that Botox would hit. People are saying that this is a Botox substitute and I use Botox and this would not be a substitute for Botox. The company calls this a skin tightener and a wrinkle reducer and I'm adding this to my skincare regimen to see how it works. Now the next two products contain Matrixyl 3000 and there is a Matrixyl and a Matrixyl 3000 and they're each different types of peptides. The Matrixyl is one peptide and the Matrixyl 3000 is two peptides and Matrixyl is said to build collagen, reduce wrinkling, and even out your skin tone. And I was sent these products and I've been using them for the past two weeks. And quite honestly, I'm not really seeing any change in my skincare results. However, as you all know, I use a ton of different serums on my skin and I use Retin-A and my skin is in pretty good shape right now. So the fact that I'm not seeing any real difference in two weeks doesn't necessarily mean anything. These products are from number seven and they both contain Matrixyl 3000. This one is the Early Defense Glow Activating Serum. And I've heard that this is better for young people just getting started out with their skincare. But again, I was not able to see any difference with this. And I looked it up on Amazon and there are no reviews there. The thing I didn't like about it though, is when I use a product, I really like to know how much of the active ingredient it contains. And I searched everywhere and I could not find anything on how much Matrixyl this product contained. And in terms of Matrixyl, the studies that have been done on it says you need at least a 2% Matrixyl to have any effect. And I get my Matrixyl from this Coenzyme Q10 serum, which contains 8% Matrixyl 3000. And I love it that I know the percentage. And again, I could not find any percentage on this, so I have no idea how much it contains. So I, I have to say at this point, I could not recommend this product. Now, the second number seven product that contains Matrixyl is this Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum. It's an Amazon Choice product, and that tells you something right there. There were over 1,400 reviews on the product and they were about four and a half stars, which is almost unheard of. People are obviously liking the effects of this serum on their skin, so it may be something you want to look at. Because I could not find out the percentage of Matrixyl it contained, and also because I'm already using Matrixyl product, I won't be adding this to my skincare. Now, in terms of my skincare, I like to think of my lips as part of my skin. Because as you know, I'm kind of lip challenged and I'm always looking for ways to plump up my lips. My husband does not want me to get injectables, which I can kind of understand. So in October, totally offered to send me this Grand Lips. I was excited about it. And what it is, it's a Lip Plumper Trio and it has three different lip plumpers in here. It has something called Volu Lips in it, which I'm not sure really what that is, but it does give you a tingle, I have to say. It has a clear lip gloss in here. These are their nudes. And then it has a tannish nude and then it has a more rosy toned nude. And while I didn't really get a plumping effect from these, I felt that they did smooth out my lips and kind of make my lip wrinkles look less noticeable. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my lipstick and try on the rosy and the tan shades. Okay, here we go. I'll start with the more tan shade. And how you get these out is you just push the little lever on the bottom and you can see the lip gloss is coming up there. Go ahead and put that on. I'll come in a little closer to where you can see it. That is a nice little nude shade. I kind of like that. So that's how that one looks. So we'll do the rosier one. Push the little button there. And this is a nice pink color. And it does feel good. And it does give you a sensation of plumping. The company says that at first it gives you a little bit of a plumping effect, but that over time of continued use, it is supposed to increase your lips further. And I've been using this product on and off for the past week, and I don't know that I've noticed any more plumping effect over time, but I do think that it does smooth out my lip wrinkles, which I really do like that. 
So thank you for being here with me today to look at some skincare type products. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe and click that little bell so you'll be notified of my future videos. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And so let's go down here and we're going to use the Louise Hay Power Thought Cards. I have three decks over here and I felt most drawn to this deck. We'll see how it goes. Hey, I love being me. I love being me. Stop trying to be so normal. Be more of the real you. Show the world who you are. You know, this is a really good one, especially in our second half. It should be a time that having learned who we are in the first half, that we really just let go and be ourselves and have a good time doing that. And it brings to mind something that I did in my early 20s, which I really regret. And that is that all through growing up in my teenage years, I was kind of quirky and fun. I had this long hair. I hardly wore makeup. I just had fun. Then when I got into my 20s, I thought, you know, I seem kind of light and airy and out there, and I really need to be more grown up, which means to be more serious. And so I would really try to stamp out those parts of myself that were lighthearted and joyful and fun. And I thought, well, I can, I can do that on the weekend, but during the work week, I really need to be this person, this more rigid, controlled person. Well, unfortunately, over the years of making that a habit to kind of stamp out my joy, I realized I wasn't even able to get it back on the weekends, that I was becoming this more somber type person, kind of a rigid up type person, and that really wasn't the real me. So friends, just for today, I hope you'll give up just a little bit trying to be quite so normal and show the world who you really are because God made each one of us unique and special and one of a kind, and that's a wonderful thing. Take care. See you next time.